My name is Karen, and today I get to fulfill a promise to God. In mid-August of 2008, while praying for our nation with 750,000 people here on Capitol Hill, God spoke words into my spirit. Remember, you said you would stand before the nation for this cause. What cause, I thought, and then it hit me. I recalled back in 1980 how in a restorative moment I told God that if given the chance I would tell others in our nation how devastating and wrong abortion is. You see, in fall of 1972, about two months prior to Roe v. Wade legalization of abortion, at the age of 17 I went through an illegal abortion in Southfield, Michigan. I remember the coldness of that day and my request to the receptionist. Please don't tell my mom and dad to think that one my age needed to have permission to get her ears pierced. I remember the cold metal table and the strange sounds as they did something to my body, the numb feeling, and then within minutes being allowed to dress and leave. I remember seeing a black bag being placed outside the clinic as my boyfriend drove us away from there. And then the horrid thoughts that went through my mind as my boyfriend asked me, was it a boy or a girl? All I could say was, does it even matter? At which point I realized that it truly was a baby boy or a girl that was now gone. This caused a repression of guilt, shame, feeling separated from love and life itself. I lost my happy-go-lucky, upbeat personality. The young girl everyone else knew as Giggles was gone. I guess you could say on that cold day in the fall of 72, along with my baby, my spirit died too. I struggled to face the joy of others who became pregnant, and the pain of holding a newborn baby was too much. Then I broke, yes, literally had a nervous breakdown of hellish proportions, was hospitalized, broke the silence, and released my deep, dark secret to my doctor and my family. It took time, but through God's grace and love and my own mother's words, that if God could forgive me, that I should forgive myself, I was restored. Because of the work of Operation Outcry and Silent No More, I am able to stand here today to warn others of the consequences in their choice to abort a life and to give hope to those facing regret of their decision. God, in his infinite mercy and forgiveness, wants to set you free. I believe that God wants, God wants to give this nation the opportunity to hear either the warning of consequences if we continue to abort life in our nation, or to hear the cry to claim redemption and restoration for life to our nation in more ways than one. Will we respond to this call for life just as I am responding today to a call to receive, that I, to a call that I received right here just 17 short months ago? As one nation under God, I pray, let our answer be yes. Oh my goodness.